Hey guys, welcome to day 143 of my carnivore journey. Uh, thank you for, if you're new here um, and just joining me, this is my daily vlog. This is where I just basically share my carnivore journey every day, what I eat, how I feel, and yes, a little bit of my personal life from time to time. I try to avoid a lot of that. I just try to keep it short and simple. Um, so guys, I just want to start out by saying um, I had a flood of comments um, from my last video, which of course talked about my separation from my wife and you know moving into my new house and all that stuff and i just want to say look 99 percent of you guys you know positive comments um again that really means a lot to me guy you know i'm serious like you guys again it's like it's like a family you know there was one comment i'm not sure what he meant by it but he said bye josh and he says i came for the carnivore info i hope we get things straightened out so I'm not sure if that's like, hey, I don't want to hear about your personal stuff. I only want carnivore info. Um, and if that's the case, I'm sorry to see you go. I'm not trying to be uh, mean, but most of my stuff is all about sharing my carnivore journey. But yes, it's my diary. I'm going to say what I want and do it. Okay. So that's, that's the thing. It's like, this is not a structured YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not trying to maximize my views and everything else. All I'm trying to do is just share my carnivore journey with you guys. And most of you know that. All right. So moving on to the positive. Steak and eggs again today. <laughs> so right here. So steak and eggs. Um, by the way, I'm not overcooking my eggs. They're over medium. Um, they might they look burnt maybe in a way because I'm actually just cooking them right into the steak grease. Like... So that's why they look like that. They don't, they don't look as clean as like when you just cook them in like butter, like in a, in a fresh pan. So once I pull the steak, I take the, I actually take the uh, pan off the stove, crack my eggs into it. And, you know, cause I don't, I don't want it to be like super hot. I just take the pan off, get my eggs, crack them into the pan. They'll start to cook a little bit, but they won't overcook right away. Then I'll put it back on, on the stove, like a medium heat make my over medium, but they get all that steak juice, <laughs> you know, which is like mainly butter and, and steak juice, uh, and probably whatever, like salt and stuff. So, so yeah, the eggs come out tasting amazing, of course. Um, but yeah, this time I had a steak and this, this one was now I will say on this steak, it was like, I want to say two thirds of it was very much a lot of gristle. Like it wasn't as enjoyable, but like it looked great. It looked like it was going to be like it had decent marbling. And I thought, man, it's going to be for top sirloin. It's going to come out really good. Flavor wise was great. And a third of it, I'm like, okay. But there was a lot of like gristle in that one. And I ate probably, uh, I want to say, two thirds of the steak at least. So I probably only had about a 13 ounce steak at the most 12 or 13 ounces. And so I had three eggs. Um, I had a meat stick for lunch and for after dinner, I just, I wasn't quite full. Um, so I ended up having two hot dogs going down the road. Now, one of the hot dogs was a jalapeno cheddar hot dog now i didn't purposely choose this but on the like the hot dogs were all labeled and apparently somebody must have put one of the jalapeno cheddar dogs with the normal hot dogs the beef ones and they look very similar like i was in a hurry i just i, I just grabbed two off the the beef hot dogs so one of mine was the beef one of them was a jalapeno cheddar so I took in a little bit of whatever cheese that may be and jalapeno. It wasn't real hot, actually, by the way. It tasted all right. Um, but I had that and just had a little bit of mustard to, to dip the hot dogs in. So other than that, that's what I had today, guys. And um, also when I went poop today, surprisingly, was a little loose. So I wonder if maybe... When I had all that fat with that steak last night and like the butter and eggs and 
I don't know. Maybe I took in a little extra fat that my body was kind of like, hey, I, I don't know. But I know sometimes it's like a balance. Um, but, you know, uh, I had another little a small poop today. Um, or like the, the one I'm talking about, the loose one was last night. And then today I had like a small one that was like normal. So, but the last night one, like I said, was like late at night. Um, and so I don't know. Anyways, it's like, I don't have to solve every single mystery. I let my body kind of, you know, and today it was, it was fine. So, um, I will probably have steak again tomorrow. I'm a little nervous. Um, this, the steak I had tonight was probably out of the three steaks that, that were in that, that three steak pack. It was the one steak that was kind of like, um, it, it was, it was the one that was kind of like, eh, you know, tomorrow's steak, I hope will be better. You know, the first steak was decent. Second steak was, you know, grisly. <laughs> we'll see how the third one is. It'd be nice if it, if it tasted like butter, you know, um, that would be great. Um, so that's what I have. Dinner plans tomorrow is going to be steak and eggs. So three days of steak and eggs. Um, Energy-wise today, I was a little wore out at times. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think I slept all right. Um, I think what it was is that I've been moving and a lot of the stress and just like when I've been moving, I've been, I had, I've been moving with a car. And, I, and I'm moving from one city to another. And it's like a 40 minute apart type thing. So each trip, you know, I had to do, and then I had to go up and down steps multiple times uh, and in and out, up and down carrying things. So it was a lot of stress on my body over the last, you know, four days at least. Um, and then today at work, I was like crawling in some crawl spaces and just, doing things I, I don't always do. Um, so it was just, you know, I mean, again, your diet can only do so much. Your body's just going to naturally be a little more tired or sore or whatever. But I mean, all in all, again, not too bad. I still feel really good. I'm recording this kind of late tonight. Again, as I fall into a normal schedule, my times are going to be a little off. I want to remind you guys tomorrow uh, is Thursday. We've got an interview. Um, we're going to be doing a live, uh, a live uh, broadcast tomorrow, and we're going to have a guest on. We're going to be talking carnivores. So if you guys want to check that out, I want to say it's let's just say eight Eastern, but it could be nine. I'll have to double check the schedule, but I'm, it might be eight Eastern. Um, but in any case, Look out for that tomorrow, either 8 or 9 Eastern, but I'm pretty sure 8 Eastern time frame. So if you want to check that out, definitely check that out. Um, I'm excited. You know, I, I'm always excited when we get the chance to maybe meet some people and have them on on the, the channel and let them, you know, and we'll just find out what uh, what this person's all about. So, uh but yeah, what is one one forty three guys? So we have pretty much one week until I hit my next thirty day benchmark uh, or checkpoint, if you will. And so I'm excited. I um I don't know. Like I'm at I'm at the point where I still feel fat, but not really. You know, I feel thinner, but then I, I still have the gut. I still got a lot of love handle. It's, there's a lot there still, but I feel like it's going down. I can visually see some differences when I look down and I can see, um, I'm starting to see more parts of my upper thigh area and it's looking a little different. The skin tones are looking a little different, I guess, because of the, you know, my gut resting on the skin differently than, you know, and now that it's starting to recede a little bit, um, it's a little darker, believe it or not. You'd think it'd be like a suntan or something, it'd be lighter, but it was a little darker. And, you know, that's just things I've noticed. This journey, I never thought I could pull this off. I never thought, I, I worshiped food so much. 
And I loved my pasta and I loved my pizzas and breads. And, you know, I mean, I was, I love cooking, but I'm just like got a different thing. I feel like there's so much more in life that's possible now. It's almost like you were just released from jail and you're just like, I don't want to go back to jail, you know? And and you just feel like there's so much out there that you want to go do and explore now. So for those of you that haven't quite got to there yet, I, I can't wait for you to get there because it doesn't take long. Like I said, this, when you start carnivore, it's, it's not long before you start feeling amazing results. It's just a little longer when you start conquering some of the addictions. And I still consider myself a, a sugar and carb addict. So... I, you have to consider yourself that for life. Like, you know, if, if you get back into it a little bit, you're, you know, you're probably going to get back into it. So that's why I'm very careful whenever I make my carnivore pizzas and I do the keto style where I do the little bit of tomato sauce. I really try to stay away from any other tomato sauce. And like, I just try not to make any other exceptions just, just for that every once in a while. But all right, guys. Um, I love you guys, man. All those comments, all the love I got from you guys. Seriously, you guys have been amazing for me. Um, it's not easy going through what I'm going through right now. Um, but you guys have definitely made it a lot easier. Um, just, just to feel some kind of love out there, you know. All right, guys. Love you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.